Okay, so I have right here my a brand new Inesis bowl which costs 25 cents. And over here I have my trusty Pro B1X. And this one right here costs $5. So 25 cents, $5. This is not brand new. And the reason why is because I, you know, I, I can't really, I don't really, I use them, I love them, but um, every once in a while I do buy them. So what I wanna do, I wanna compare them and I wanna show you, this is the one that I'm using lately. I just, I always use it. and. Um, I just want to do a comparison, a fair comparison. So I'm going to, first, I'm going to test it in the green. Uh, then I'm going to test it around the green with, the, with my 52. And then I'm going to get my Mevo and test the distance. So. so let's start first with a downhill putt, which is the most difficult shot. So I'm going to start with the Inesis ball first. Just a little tap. I'm going to tell you how it feels, okay? Okay, so I must have hit, uh, I would say like 10 to 15 putts. And now I can tell you, uh, okay, I, I, I have to be honest, I came, I wanted to prove that they're both the same. That's what I wanted to do. But uh, to be honest, I did see a little, a slight difference in the, in the feel when you, when you get the nice um, uh, sweet spot, it does feel a little better, but not that much, but just a little better with the Pro B1. I don't know if it's mentally, but, um, it does feel a little better, but I don't think it's a huge difference. Just a little, little difference, but not not that not a huge difference. And I don't think it, it justifies paying uh, five dollars for for a Pro V1 as opposed to twenty five cents. It does feel a little better though. I don't want to be you know biased because I do use Inesis, but um, and I'm being honest here. So it does feel a little better. So. So now I'm gonna use my fifty two and I'm gonna just chip around the green. I'm gonna see how it feels. Okay, so for me, this, this is how it is. If you hit it in the sweet spot, it feels a little better with the Pro B1. Uh, if you don't hit it in the sweet spot, you don't see the difference. They both feel the same. But if you do hit it in the sweet spot, then you, you definitely see a difference in the Pro B1. It feels better, slightly better. Not, I, I don't wanna say like huge difference, but you do feel it slightly better. Okay, it wasn't pure though, I could tell you. I didn't hit it pure, so. Okay, and I didn't hit it pure either, so I didn't see a difference. So I think I can conclude that, uh, I mean, if you're, if you're a really good player, and you, if you always hit it in the sweet spot every time, then you're gonna see that slight difference. But if you're a player like me, a 12 handicapper, I don't think it makes any sense. I mean, it's uh, the ball feels good. It's not a it's not a top. It's not one of those hard balls that you can you can definitely see the difference. You know, this ball is a rock. You know, I don't like the feeling. So this one right here is uh, 25 cents, and it's it's great. I mean, I don't I don't see why you should play with a Pro B1. I mean, if you want to, you could, I guess, but I don't think there is a huge difference overall. You know, unless obviously you hit it every time on the sweet spot, then yeah, then I will consider buying the the Pro B1 every time. You know, but. At my level, I don't think it's worth it. Probably one against Inesis, 144 uh, yards downhill to the flag over there. It's, uh, I'm gonna play an eight iron. I'm just gonna look for, uh, for feel, how it feels. I'll start with the Probably one and see if I notice any difference. really good it was a good strike and that's a pretty good shot now the Inesis okay a little to the right and yeah okay so 
Then again, it's all about uh, the way you hit it. You know, the first, the probably one I did hit it in the sweet spot, so that felt really good. Uh, the indices, I didn't quite catch it in the sweet spot, so that didn't feel as good, but it's not, uh, I don't think it's a huge difference. So I would say for my level, definitely again, it's not, uh, it wouldn't be worth it, I would say. Okay, so the probably one end up over there. It was a great shot, so it's a little unfair, I guess. And the indices end up over in the, in the French, right over there. Okay, so 180 yards, Ines is ball first. Uh, There's supposed to be a green if I cut through here, so. Five iron. I should get there, even if it's a little slight wind. Uh, okay, that went to the right, but I didn't catch that well. And now the probably one. Okay. He made it uh, through the trees, but I think it was off the toe. And the feel, no, I have to say, honestly here, I didn't, I didn't feel any difference. Uh, but then again, it's whether you hit it off the toe, I mean, of the, on the sweet spot or not. So, okay, so the probably one made it right here. And the Ines is uh, went uh, over this hill right here. So I, I pushed that to the right. I didn't hit both of them well okay, though. So that was it for the review. Um, so in the pots, uh, you can notice a slight difference uh, when you hit it in the sweet spot. It, there was a little slight difference, I have to say. Maybe from uh, from five, I would say five for the Pro V1 and four for the Inesis. On the chips, a little bit, but just a little less. But um, you can see a slight difference. Then on the irons, um, it was harder to tell there because uh, if you catch it in the sweet spot, yeah, you know, I had uh, two good shots for the Pro V1, but I don't know if it's, I think it was more the pressure that I don't want to lose a $5 ball than uh, than the actual ball. So, you know, I guess, you know, you could use it like that too. It, it, it would help <laughs> if you don't want to lose, uh, if you don't want to waste $5, so you buy yourself a $5 ball and uh, play with it and then put some pressure on yourself that way you don't lose it. But but overall, I would say that there isn't that that uh, difference, that big of a difference for a player uh, of my level to to say that, oh yeah, I'm gonna just play probably once because they're definitely uh, they're you know they, they feel much better. I would say not yet. I think if you're if you're low handicapper, maybe yeah, you can you can make that decision and uh, it would definitely you can see it a little more obviously. But overall, I don't think it's justified. Five dollars for a ball compared to 25 cents or the Inesis ball, which is a perfectly, it's a fine ball. It's not a, there's no difference, I think. I mean, there's no big difference. So anyways, maybe I'm wrong, but uh, that's just my, my review on it. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until next time.